Oh, didn't see you guys there. Well, uh, sorry, you just uh, hanging out and doing a little work there. Sorry about that. Well, welcome to our lab class. I'm Tony LaRosa. Um, I am hardware specialist for the team. Uh, Jake Eisenhart is our lead for our project. Michael Moldovan and Alex Ferlin will be handling the software part, Alex being software lead. And Michael Kishler, oh man, what a guy. He is our testing lead in financial and budgeting um, as well. So he's doing, a, he's doing a lot of work, we need to buy a lot of stuff. So we're on the low cost sensor rate, working with Owner Reese, uh, Grandy Cole, which is basically short term for um, shorthand, pretty much for grad school in French. Um, pretty, pretty top school, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, it's like uh, food engineering and veterinary medicine, um, agricultural engineering, pretty much. Um, so really, really cool. Um, school, pretty cool to work with them. And so we're picking up from where years um, past have worked on for a couple of years already um, with this microcontroller going, um, taking data from a sensor array of thermal couples, maybe humidity sensors, we're gonna be looking into that this year, and then using a microcontroller to give data out to um, the customer and to the people in the oven. So it's gonna go to a tunnel oven, um, which is one thing we have to, redo, recreate is this thermal barrier and this thermal protective box case. Still trying to work out the naming on that for what it'll be, but to engineer that to be easily uh, manufactured, um, easily accessed to be serviced, but to have some, some significant heat shielding for our uh, microcontroller. So part of the project is working with past projects. Microcontrollers, their prototypes uh, that they do, that they've done in the past. Here's some prototypes, thermocouples, some things that they've done in the past, um, working with that, using their code, going through their repositories, figuring out what is needed, what isn't needed, um, and trying to deliver a final product at the end of the semester. Something that can be easily reproduced and manufactured um, for um, owneries at grant school. So working with Mark to communicate with them is, is pretty cool. And so that's pretty much our project, what we've got at the moment, um, working with a bunch of their old stuff. Um, we have this lab that we've been, you know, setting up, designing, not necessarily full on design, but Mark has helped us a ton with this. It's a new lab space from last year. Um, and to kind of go through it is we've got lab computers, um, which are really nice, has all of the software you'd ever need to do anything on them, plus our personal computers we get software on. Um, we have a nice screen for collaborative work. It's fantastic to have a huge screen to be able to plug your computer in or one of these computers in and then work together, debug code, make things work, which is super nice. You know, we've got some typical lab equipment to run tests on, um, which is very important, you know, power supplies, um, single generators, some nice oscilloscopes, you know, Vernier Lab Pros, all this stuff's pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of setups, like we have many little things, you know, motors, LEDs, resistors, punches, you know, connectors, breadboards, pretty much. We have every kind of Arduino and Raspberry Pi you'd like, which makes this project fantastic, but it's also, you gotta start to think what qualities of what Arduinos do we need. So that stuff's pretty cool. We have that, we have the old prototypes. Um, we have some digital multimeters, which we store, and we're getting in some more. This is uh, one of my favorite spots. It's our soldering station personal soldering station, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have our testing oven. So this will be able to um, put uh, our thermocouples in, um, put our heat shielding boxes in and heat them to what we think, um, or from what past data has told us, um, the box has to withstand. Um, we actually have thermocouples in there to be able to tell us the heat in the oven. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll probably do a lot of testing in there. Um, so that's kind of our lab setup. That's our project. Um, we'll keep you guys updated as, um, as new stuff comes along, as weekly updates will be sent out. Um, so I look forward to this project. Au revoir. And I'll end with saying a French word. That'll, that'll really get them. That'll be good. We're pretend to drop a bunch of these and be like, oh, you know, that might be cool. Oh, I got a great idea. I got a great idea. I'm 
gonna start here. We're making this informal. And I'm gonna be like doing something that look like I'm actually know what I'm doing. Cause I don't. And then I'm just, oh, didn't see you there. You know, like I'm 70 sitcom or something like that. That'll be cool. Bonjour, I gotta teach him this. We gotta do a French lesson in the middle of this. I'll be smart then. Banjo, that's how it's pronounced. Just like the instrument. I also have no idea what I'm doing in this presentation. Follow me, Tony, YouTube, weekly vlogs.